Churchill, been around since 1795, um, and we are based in Stoke on Trent, and we have two divisions, a manufacturing division for um, catering ware, uh, pubs, restaurants, etc., and then we have a retail division where, to be honest, we predominantly design and have manufactured abroad now. Three years ago, we as a company decided that we needed to move from our ERP platform, um, which was a, a disparate set of software, to um, a modern ERP package. And so we have went out, did the due diligence, and uh, implemented IFS 18 months ago. Uh, IFS didn't really come with um, a business intelligence package, mm -hmm. and uh, it's about uh, January time uh, this year, um, it was decided that really to get the benefit out of our brand spanking new ERP package, we needed a quality business intelligence um, solution. And uh, the hunt was started for uh, what was out there, to be honest. And we looked at things like Cognos, um, business objects. Um, all the big proprietary players that everybody knew about in, mm -hmm. in, the, in the business intelligence world, to be honest. And as you know, everybody would love to say they've got business objects on the premises of Cognos, but the price tag was a little steep for us, to be honest. Uh, so we had to work elsewhere, to be honest. Um, and uh, hence, uh, we came to uh, the open source solutions, which I'm a massive fan of. We're a virtual environment, so apart from the virtualization platform, because we do run enterprise VMware, uh, we do have, um, we're running CentOS uh, 5.8 uh, for our OS level, and um, MySQL 5.2 for um, the, the database backend, and then we're running um, InfoBright Community Server for our column database, and the rest of the stack, uh, well, Pento is. Um, Enterprise Edition, but where where we can, we have used um, Community Edition um, pieces of software. I'm a massive, massive open source uh, supporter, um, and you know whether it's Community Editions or Enterprise Editions, you know the fact that you can have uh, several thousand developers developing an open source solution opposed to a proprietary company that's got a hundred developers, it's kind of a no-brainer. And so, you, because of my, my background, and uh, you know, I've come from server technology, I've come from Linux, uh, it, was, it was an obvious avenue to look down in. We'd been looking at open source technologies for, for other areas of our business, uh, plant maintenance, uh, our new website's been written in Drupal, so uh, it just felt a natural um, avenue to, to, to go down, to be honest. Analyzer, T to be honest, Analyzer, opposed to any of the other products, it, it makes Pento so much different than everything else that I saw, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, and then when you you look at the product some more, there's the ETL tool. Um, we're just starting out with Report Designer, but Analyze it um, and the ETL tool, it kind of sold it for me. And you know I would have would have gone down the uh, the community edition route, but it didn't have Analyzer. It's what I think it's what's making Pento different than everybody else at the moment. Uh, that really is it. And, and when you when you show people in the business what Analyzer can do, they're amazed. Uh, someone said to me, "It's uh, it's Microsoft pivot tables on steroids." That, <laughs> and, it, and when you look at it and you stand back, you think, "Yeah, they've got, they've got a point there." It 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 it, see, it, it really is. It, there are no words to describe. Um, describe it to be honest, especially when you give it to uh, I me, mean, my boss, every time I walk into his office, he's playing with it, so, hmm. you know, it, it, 
it has that um, quality that just wants you to make go back and back and back and think, oh, I can, I've got this data now, I can make these decisions. It, it allows people in the business to make decisions um, on their own without having to walk into IT and say, I need this report please. And it, it saved a huge amount of time to be honest. We're just starting our rollout um, and the reason for the delay is a few reasons. One, um, we couldn't decide exactly what data we wanted and two, um, uh, as an organisation we're using um, not only the enterprise version of Penta but we're using a community edition um, Infobright database server which together makes um, the whole experience of Penta I'm not saying huge amounts better, but we're getting sub 10 second response times for our data. So the rollout has taken a bit longer than we expected. Uh, we're now just accelerating that now to um, some key board members for dashboards. Um, that was released uh, two weeks ago. And we're now just looking at key members of the marketing and sales, sales staff, and we're rolling that out in the next few weeks ready for a January launch where um, we're hoping to then roll it out to all our sales staff um, across the globe. The analyzer part um, had sold it for me, sold it for the business uh, and that that is the thing that is steaming ahead. That's that's the thing we're, we're rolling out as we speak. Um, it's as we give it to the marketing people, as we give it to the sales people, their instant reaction is, wow. And a look of amazement on their face that to almost say is, why didn't we have this two years ago? Uh, it, it does make their life so much better. Um, the ETL tool has um, solved numerous problems in the business and not just from a reporting side. Um, we've taken spreadsheets from customers, turned 150 um, page spreadsheets into 150 orders. That saved our sales admin staff something like two days. And so far we've had four of those in. So um, we've taken uh, spreadsheets from our manufacturing departments because that's how they calculate the wages in here and we've integrated that with our payroll. Um, so yes, it, the ETL tool can be used for moving data for reporting purposes, but it can be used for a whole lot more as well. And I think it's important to understand that it's not just a reporting engine, um, Pentaho as a, as a whole, it can be used for other, other um, business. As with all open source products, Unfortunately, the documentation of Pentaho is, is not great, but that's when people like Voodoo come along. Um, they, they're the barrier between us and Pentaho. Um, people like Ben, they, they explain the difficulties of, of some of the, the modules that you can have. They explain some of the problems that you get in, um, and generally to talk through the issues that you're going to face and um, trying to get some of your data into the Pentaho model. Um, and I'm not saying Pentaho is a hard product to use, but it has its quirks, um, as, as every product does. Um, and people like Voodoo allow, um, allow people like me to, to be able to do their jobs, to be honest. Brilliant, to be honest. Um, when we first took the demo, um, the 30 day trial of the product, um, they gave us 30 days worth of support. Uh, and I'd, I'd never seen that before in any product I'd ever ever looked at. And it wasn't uh, just a customary, oh you, you can send us an email and we might call you back. It was real, full on support. We have a problem installing it, we have a problem trying to make something work, we have a problem um, you know, logging on. You could put a support case and you know you got the four hour response that you were expect that you would expect if you'd paid for the support. So all in all there was a 
positive experience from from Pento as an organisation, and, and that again helps sell sell the product. Um, in terms of voodoo support, um, it's semi informal to us, but I think that's I think it's the nature of our business. Uh, and you know, if I have a problem, I phone Ben up. Uh, if he's got time, he, he'll speak to me. If he hasn't, which is fair enough, you know, everybody has to work for a living. Uh, he'll he'll give me a call back. So, all in all, between uh, Pento and, and Voodoo as a, as a support package, um, I can't fault it at the moment. For open source to become successful in the the UK, more companies like uh, Voodoo have to exist. Mm -hmm. Or it will open source will take off, but it'll be in the bigger organisations that have the IT departments that can have the full Linux specialists in the corner. For it to work in SMEs, though, uh, there does need to be this this mediator. I suppose is the best way to describe uh, describe it. Know what you want to report on. <laughs> That would be the best one. Ensure that the managers, any, but any consumer of the data that you're about to present to them, understand what they want. Um, the amount of times I've had to re-engineer something, go back and re-publish a cube, and I'm sure by the time I've finished, write the same report four times, because the they're not sure of exactly what they want um, and especially when you're building this from the ground up you don't want to be um, retracing some of your steps it's certainly at the database level so understand properly what kind of data that they're going to want to report on not necessarily the exact report layout or the exact data but a good idea of some of the, the KPIs that they were going to want to report on some of the the general data that they're going to want out of the system, because without that, um, you will you'll you'll struggle to be honest. Hire someone like Voodoo. Uh, I, with, without you can look at it, you can try to plan it, and um, even if you've got the best technical expertise in house um, for servers and software installation you need um, you need people who understand data you need people who've been around data for a long time and not necessarily be able to configure Pento or anything like that but to understand what businesses need and without people like that then you can you could have a SAP implementation a business objects implementation and you could still get rubbish out you, you need to understand what organisations need. Um, so, yes, plan it out, get your infrastructure right, or get uh, get people like Voodoo involved, or um, your project will still 